Hi, this is Denise Estrada, and you're watching True School Sports. All right, thank Now, I want to talk about something now with Roman Gonzalez that nobody nobody seems to talk about. I haven't heard the media talk about it. I haven't seen an article talk about it, and I haven't seen I haven't seen a YouTube video about it. So maybe if there is one, you can point me in the direction of it. But until then, you know, we're, I'll have to bring it up because nobody else has brought it up. So let me, let me just drink this coke real quick. Roman Gonzalez. Roman Gonzalez. For most of you who have been following boxing, who know just a little bit about his background. He was trained by the legendary Alexis Arguello. Now, if you guys don't remember Alexis Arguello, he comes from that 15-round era of fighting. Uh, fought the likes of undisputed champions like Ruben Olivares, Ray Mancini, who's in the Hall of Fame. Um, just good, really, really good fighters, man. And who fought Aaron Pryor two times, uh, didn't, didn't, didn't win any of those fights, but, you know, at that time, was the uh, had won a, a world title in three weight three weight classes in the era of fifteen round fighting. Just a hell of a talent, and you know, pound for pound wise, one of the best that ever did it. And Roman trained and learned under this guy. Now, I told you guys that in two thousand and eight, Roman Gonzalez won his uh he won a world title at age twenty one, and in uh, two thousand nine, okay, two thousand nine, Alexis Arguello passed away. Um, now, some people say it was suicide. Some people say that he got killed for other reasons. But regardless of the fact, he did, you know, pass away. So after Roman Gonzalez, in the midst of Roman Gonzalez's first uh, world title run at minimum weight, Alexis Arguello wasn't there. Now, a lot of you guys who are heavyweight boxing fans, a lot of you Mike Tyson fans out there, you you guys always say things like, "Well, if Mike Tyson had cussed a model, it would have been a different story." Or you say things like, if Mike Tyson still had Customato, you know, or his uh, Mike Tyson's discipline died when Customato died, Mike Tyson was never the same without Customato. Well, guess what? Roman Gonzalez, in many ways, faced those same exact problems when Alexis Arguello passed away. But guess what? It shows the discipline, it shows the mental fortitude, and it shows the skill that Roman Gonzalez had to overcome losing his mentor, losing a guy that had been in this corner, raised him up, you know, basically had become in many ways a, 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 a father figure in the world of boxing to him. He lost him abruptly, all right? And he was still able to win despite not having Arguello, despite, you know, being in third world poverty. This guy was able to beat the odds and still win, and you got to respect that. So... You know, hey, I, I, I know a lot of you guys out there always love to use the Mike Tyson reference. Well, but nobody, people know Arguello is dead, but they never, they never link, they never link that to Roman Gonzalez. You know, when he was a world champion, he had just won a world title. Then he loses his 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 mentor in boxing. I mean, to overcome that is tough, and he was able to do it. So you got to really tip your cap to him because we saw how Mike Tyson imploded after Demato um, was was passed away.